You know what's not disappointing, Mesa? What? The Switch. Hey. It's getting Hitman 3 and Control coming via uh, cloud, cloud editions. I'm still not super big on streaming games via the cloud. But do but you I, know how they're doing it, though? Vaguely. <laughs> so how they're doing it, if I remember correctly, you need you need to download the demo version of it, and you must play it for an hour till you're given the option to buy it. I did not know that. Was that also the case for Resident Evil 7, which I believe so, was the first um, case for this, right? I don't yeah. know, because that's in Japan only, but you can download okay. it from the Japanese eShop, though. So I can try to do that and give an update if I can get it to work, because I have Nord- a Japanese eShop account. But um, the one, but yeah, so that's how you can do it for Control, because Control launched the day of when they revealed it in the, in the Nintendo Direct. And then people realize you need to be able to play it for an hour. And I think, and people believe the Reeves, yeah, people believe the reason why Nintendo did that was because if you need to internet. make sure, yes, exactly. You need to make sure that your internet can run it. Because if people just automatically buy it, realize their internet can't, can't run it, everyone's going to ask for refunds, which Nintendo doesn't give refunds. Yeah. So I, Nintendo's very, often, though. very I, often, I know I've able to get one out of them, but that was literally because I was like the nicest person I could possibly be. I, I, think, um, I think the slight advantage to Nintendo for this scenario versus, um, you know, streaming uh, fr- from a home network is obviously the switch is portable so even if your own home internet's bad you can like maybe go over to a friend's house which su- where it's superior but the downside of that also being uh you don't have an ethernet port which will yeah. radically improve that experience so like the way i'm seeing it you probably need to have like the best internet money can buy right now or at least closest to it or like me be the only person using the internet for it to work at least that's what i was getting I, out of it i should i should i should play the demo i haven't yet um so like I, like for me like i love i i love cloud gaming i think cloud gaming is fun and funny because i had an on live account i had a bunch of games on live i was able to beta test um what turned into uh stadia um so like i should i should i should i should, I should be able to test that out because i was able to play on live which this is in like what 2011 on uh three three megabit down internet oh wow yeah i was able to play borderlands uh assassin's creed a bunch of games so if if i if if this service is somehow worse than that then then that'll be interesting i mean even if it's not a hundred percent i think it's just good to have that foundation there so it can be improved upon by just you know higher net speeds down the line and and i'll just never be mad at for having the option available there because mesa i think you you told the story i think like on our first or second podcast where for a while uh streaming games was kind of your own was, was really your own your only option for for engaging with like new games so oh, I, absolutely I th- so having that option there is absolutely be- like i would take a i would take a bad latency experience over no experience whatsoever mm-hmm yeah, because I think what people have to remember is that Japan has a lot better internet than we do. Yeah. So for them, streaming games on something like the Switch is fucking easy. Like, mm-hmm. I have a friend who beat Resident Evil 7 streaming it in Japan, like, on the Switch. So it's like, for them, this is no big deal. But for us, we're not at that point yet, internet-wise. So I can understand why this might be a little bit harder for people. I mean, it's great that you can play something like Control on the Switch. Like, that's fucking nuts to me. But it's also like it's it's locked behind the do you have good enough internet to do so type of thing. Do you know yeah. um like what the what the what the graphics quality is on like does it have ray tracing? Uh, no. <laughs> you want your switch to explode, Mesa? <laughs> I mean, it's, if it's streaming, it's just streaming. It's streaming. It, yeah, I highly doubt it does. Yeah, I don't personally know, but I would be ninety nine percent that it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty interesting. 